Hey guys, what is going on? It's Thunder. Welcome back to Gotham Imposters. And I'm just doing some work, playing for the Joker's team, slaying some bat beasts. And I switch over to my gatekeeper, spray this guy right down. And uh, yeah, guys, the gatekeeper and the Dawn Patrol, that is how I'm rolling. I'm using penetrator ammo on both of these weapons for my attachments. And I know a lot of you guys have been telling me to use the extended mags, but... I don't know, guys. I'm not feeling the extended mags too much in this game. I've been running into a lot of dudes running body armor. And uh, just another big drawback that the extended mags has, guys. Don't forget, it slows down your reload. And that That's not good. I mean, it gives you a reverse uh, sleight of hand feature. You know, it gives you, like, crippled hand. Crippled hand pro. I don't need crippled hand pro when I'm trying to reload my weapons, man. Getting Reloading your weapons is crucial to slaying and staying alive. So, going with the penetrator ammo... <laughs> For now, anyway, I know the body odor sniffer is another really great attachment, and uh, I, I was on Twitter talking to a few of my followers that are playing Gotham City. A lot of people really enjoying this game. Just one of the best attachments in this game, guys. I mean, I guess, honestly, the body odor sniffer probably is the best attachment because uh, it increases your situational awareness. And the biggest thing to have in this game is situational awareness, especially if you're playing Team Deathmatch in Gotham City. In any Team Deathmatch, uh, situational awareness is really important, but um, I'm finding right here, guys, that the motion sensor is just absolutely amazing to use in this game. Uh, now, it, it, I know it's cheap and it's frowned upon in, in COD, but here in Gotham City, man, it really is an amazing, helpful piece of equipment that will rank you up fast and just let you know where everybody is. And uh, I've been using this thing like every game, dude. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, I was using body armor, but then a lot of people started getting smart like me and started using the penetrator ammo, and I was just wasting a, a support streak. Plus, uh, for ranking up, man, I mean, you can't beat it. This motion sensor, you can't beat it for ranking up. I mean, I get tons of targeting assists with this thing. I'm getting like at least 20 plus assists a game <laughs> with this small motion sensor, so it's unreal. And, oh, get slapped, son. <laughs> Someone hit me with the boomerang. I'm trying to shake it off me. My man up here. See, I get another targeting assist plus 100 points, guys. Every time I get a targeting assist plus 100 points. So, really nice for ranking up. And your whole team can see it. It's just like the motion sensor in MW3. The portable radar. You know, everyone on your team can see it. Except imagine you getting an assist for all your teammates that kill someone that show up on your sensor. That's what this thing does. And I get another targeting assist plus 100. So, uh, yeah, guys, life without Modern Warfare 3 is good, man, because <laughs> I've got this right here. I've got Gotham City Imposters, plus you guys all know I've been still playing Black Ops, really enjoying Black Ops. And speaking of which, guys, did you guys find out what happened in Amazon, France, yesterday? Allegedly, Activision lawyers, allegedly, Activision France released uh, pre-orders for Black Ops Deuce. <laughs> or oh, Black Ops Deuce, since it's in France. Oh, Black Ops 2. Oh, look, Activision, why are you so butthurt, dude? Activision wound up blacklisting uh, Amazon France. Activision, why are you so butthurt, dude? I mean, <laughs> Black Ops 2 coming out this November is probably the worst kept secret in the FPS gaming industry. We all know it's coming. And how is this guy not dead? Look at all the bullets I put in this guy, man. Yeah, sit down, son. Wow. <laughs> the fuck? I uh, uh, get some splash damage here, so I go invisible. I'm also using these ninja smoke bombs, everybody, and they're pretty good to use in a pinch. And this guy smacks me with the boomerang again. <laughs> he slaps me up Eddie Murphy style with that boomerang, son. Sit down. So <laughs> I take this guy out with the gatekeeper. And uh, I'm going to go invisible again because I only have like three points of health. That guy almost killed me. I'm going to get right back to this health station because in this game, walking around with, uh, you know, very low health is really not advisable. You will get slapped. And uh, that's not good for Team Deathmatch. <laughs> you want to stay alive. You want to do as much killing and die as less as possible. But uh, this game is really so much fun, guys. It reminds me back of like how Call of Duty 4 used to be because there's so much rushing around. Nobody really hides in this game. Everyone's always like pushing the engagement and rushing around. And uh, that's what I really like about it, man. It's just a, a lot of fun. You know, they brought Stop and Power. They brought Jugs back into this. And this is what really what the Call of Duty franchise is missing. And uh, I think there's a couple of guys right in here. My boy's pushing up, so I'm going to come up right behind him. He takes out that guy to my left. And I'm going to go around the corner here and throw a motion sensor down, see if I can pick up anybody. Nope, not finding anybody. So I get the gatekeeper. And, oh, there's a guy right here. Sit down, bat boy. What the hell? Where'd he go? <laughs> he got the grappling hook. And I jump up here, spray this guy down, get the Nemesis Award. And I call in my Blackbird or my, my Eagle Eye, whatever it is. This is my Rampage, guys. When, when I fill up my Rampage meter, 
you called in and everyone shows up on the UAV for 15 seconds. Yeah, what do you guys think of that, man? 50. Look at this dude. He had like some kind of super armor on. I couldn't kill him. He's got that. See that flashing blue? And that guy's level 70. Wow, he's pretty high rank. I don't know what that was. I think he had uh, some. I think his rampage. He had it activated where he could take 75% uh, more damage. So that guy had like painkiller pro. There's no way I was going to take him out. And uh, yeah, I might. I might switch over to that rampage too, guys. This rampage is that will give you damage boosts, health boosts, will make you invisible on radar. The rampage I'm using, Eagle Eye, which you saw before. It's like the Blackbird. Just has everyone show up on the UAV. And I spray this guy down. Um, yeah, so guys, the smoke bombs that I'm using right here, I just put these on. They're, they're okay, but I, I have been using the um, glider kit. Yeah, take this guy right out. I have been using the glider kit, and I've been, you know, dive bombing on people, smacking them up with the Pacific Tomb elbow. <laughs> and uh, that's that's real damn effective and really fun. Um, but for this match right here, I put the smoke on, and I might go back to the glider kit. I don't know. I was using the targeting goggles a lot, but... This uh, motion sensor is so much better, so much easier to use than the targeting goggles. And uh, as I can see, there's a bunch of guys pushing up towards me. I don't know where this guy is, though. Um, you never know where anyone is on the mini-map, because they could be flying up above you, or up on a building, or on the ground. And I noticed these guys are pushing us right here. And I spray this guy down. Now watch what happens right here. Somebody sneaks in here with the ninja smoke, and I don't even see him. Watch. So I see these guys are pushing us. They're pushing us right here. I'm just waiting for him, waiting for him. And someone sneaks right by me. Someone snuck right by me. I pick up my rampage. And look, there she is. That chick. She snuck right by me with ninja. We get into an epic battle. So I'm just switching my gun. She goes invisible. I'm just spraying. Where's she at? Where's she at? Sit down, bad bitch. Ah! <laughs> Take her out. But then her teammate comes and owns me. And yep, sit down. <laughs> so that was an epic engagement. Really good fight. And uh, I get another rampage. Two rampages in one game. What? Usually I get... I'm lucky if I get one rampage a game. Like I said, guys, I'm still learning, man. I've only got uh, about six hours played on this game, uh, which is crazy because me and El Presador were playing this game, I think, last week. Uh, this was a week ago, dude. We ran into a guy who had 27 hours on the game played already. He was like a level 70-something. Me and Perez were just like, what? It's crazy the kind of free time some of these cats have. And uh, get right behind this person and take him out. They were flank that, uh, that girl was flanking us with smoke bombs again. And, uh, yeah, guys, let me know. I know a lot of you guys are playing this. I know a lot of you guys are really enjoying this. Uh, let me know. What are some of your favorite classes to use? What are some of your favorite guns and attachments? I mean, is penetrator ammo the way to go? Or should I go back to the body odor sniffer? I mean, what do you guys What do you guys like to do, man? Let me pick your brains out there. Because I know there's a lot of you guys that play this game a hell of a lot more than me. And uh, it's not because I don't like the game, guys. I just don't have the time, dude. And this person tries to sneak behind me again. I'm not having it. See right there, guys. you got to switch weapons in this game. Because if you try to, there's no sleight of hand pro in this game. If you try and reload, you will get owned. Switching weapons is crucial to winning gunfights. And uh, I just like carrying this weapon right here for long range, the Dawn Patrol. And when I get up close, the Gatekeeper. And oh, Stinkzilla steals my kill. Damn you, Stinkzilla. And there's somebody behind me invisible, I think. I think there's someone behind me invisible. So I put my Ninja Smoke Bombs on. And this guy tries to get the drop on me. But I slay his ass. And we're running down, uh, the time is running down here, guys. We've got like five seconds left. Three, two, one. Ah, uh, sit down, bad bitch. So I get the game-winning kill, the clutch game-winning kill with like one second left on the clock. And uh, I get the first place finish, too. Look at that, guys. 10,605 points. Wow, I think that's the most I've ever gotten. And uh, really enjoying this game, everybody. Hope you enjoyed uh, this gameplay commentary. It's your boy, Thunder. And I'll see you out there. Peace.